Hello everyone, welcome back to another video in the Langchain Projects playlist. In this video, we are going to see how to build a custom rag chatbot with the help of Mistral LM and Ensemble Retrievers. So let's jump into the video right now. Here is the result which you will attain at the end of this video where we are building a financial advisor. So uh, it makes it sound good, right? So this bot has financial knowledge so that is why it is kept like that and here i'm asking how to save excess money and it is saying uh, saving excess money is a great way to grow your wealth over time there are several effective strategies and it, it is saying something which is very uh, on point rather but this is where uh, the difference arises actually because uh, i didn't get this result right away when I was using the normal retriever, which is our vector store itself, it didn't work. Uh, it gave me some uh, bad results, very bad results, uh, which I'll show you right now. And post that, after uh, some few research, I found that there is a way to do ensemble retriever where we can combine n number of retrievers and based on that, it is possible for a result increase in some, some such ways. Okay. And here, I combine two retrievers i'll let you know once we go on to that file and this is what happened before ensemble when i asked the same question it said uh, saving money is an important aspect um, blah 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 it was saying something another helpful tip but it is not exactly saying that okay this is the strategy you need to follow for you to save your money and it started saying some uh, rubbish things here the good Mistral 7 billion also didn't do well because it didn't have good context at that time. So what happened is finally once I combined the retrievers and made an ensemble retriever this was the result. See here it is saying like first create a budget pay off your high interest debt so that once you uh, pay off your debt of uh, on the interest you will save a lot of money based on that uh, you can save excess money a lot and then also you can avoid your impulse pur purchases uh, like that it is uh, giving some great result uh, this looks better right so this is what we will be achieving at the end of this video guys so i hope you all understand what is the purpose of this uh, customization all right so let me go on to the retriever first okay so here I'm using Hugging Face Embeddings and we are using VV8 Vector Store. I hope you all know VV8 Vector Store uh, because we have used it in our previous videos as well. So we are using VV8 Vector Store and for Retriever, we'll be using BM25 Retriever as well. So let me give you a short uh, introduction on BM25 Retriever. BM25 Retriever is a retriever which will use TF-IDF. Okay, so by using TF-IDF, it will try to do exact match of words and based on that it will try to give the results okay so that is what bm25 retriever does i hope you all know about tfidf uh, it is also a method for vectorization okay uh, and bm25 retriever was one of the uh, most popular uh, retrievers and yet still it is a popular retriever uh, that is the retriever which is used by use, uh, in elastic search as well okay and the advantage of this retriever is it is so fast it is highly scalable and also it is pretty good okay but the disadvantage was that um it doesn't have any semantic understanding okay so when you have a semantic understanding need there it won't work so that is where our vv8 vector store which will act as a retriever will come into the picture because it will go for an embedding, embedding retrieval type but when we combine these both we are getting the best out of the both worlds so that is the good thing which we'll do in the ensemble retriever i hope you all got the gist of what we will get once we go through this application okay <coughs> so that is our bm25 retriever and ensemble retriever we are using pypdf loader for loading the pdf and we have directory loader to load the directory these are all not something new and recursive character text splitter it will try to uh, split the text based on some given parameters which uh, we have, we all know right now right so we are also importing the config we are importing vv8 and we are creating .env file so that we can have our vv8 api key and uh, based on that we'll call it here 
I hope you all know how to create VWAIT API key. Uh, you should first create a cluster and then based on that you will get a VWAIT API key which you can call it here. Um, if you have you don't know how to uh, create a cluster, please check our previous video which is AI research agent where I built um, a real time AI research agent which will answer any of your questions by searching the answer over internet and based on the obtained URL contents it will try to provide the answer. So yeah, in that I would have used VV8 itself. So here also we are using the same VV8 vector store. Okay, so yeah, uh, we are loading PDFs here, whatever PDFs is there in the given directory path, which is data slash. And here, if you see, there are two files, saving fitness and then a CC guiding to saving and investment. I'll provide these also in the uh, GitHub so that you can use it. Okay, and we have the PyPDF loader here to load these PDFs. So once your PDFs is loaded, loaded as documents, next step is we'll be chunking it, right? So here, uh, like usually, uh, we have kept the chunk size to be 500 and the chunk overlap to be 200, pretty less. But you also, you also can have it in a larger size. Uh, I prefer to have it smaller so that we don't need a lot of computation at the end. Okay, so we'll be chunking it and the chunks, once it has created, First, what we'll do is we'll create a VWAIT vector store based on this documents which we created right now, like uh, this chunks. That is what is the first step for which we'll use the hugging face embeddings. And here, if you see embedder, we are not using GT large, which we usually do. Okay. GT large is the conventional one which we have used for a long time. But I thought, okay, let, let's try something new. And there is this model called BGE, which is better than um, GT large itself. And I think this is in second position in MTEB leaderboard and yeah, it has given some good results. So I recommend you all to check it out. Okay. So yeah, here we have, uh, our client, we client, um, which will be called from here where we are instantiating a client with the URL of the cluster. And we are also setting the VV8 auth API key for which, like I said, you should have it in the .env file with the name wavyt api key and it will be called here okay <laughs> sorry so based on this client um and uh, using these embeddings it will try to map the chunks to its embeddings and based on that it will try to create a vector store that is our vv vector store and we are using that vv vector store as a retriever with saying that i need top two results top two matches for a given query and that will act as our vv retriever so part one retriever is completed. Like I said, we will be using two retrievers, but it is not necessarily that you should use two retrievers. You can also use n number of retrievers that is possible. And uh, in Langchain, there are a lot of retrievers actually. So yeah, uh, I chose these two, but yeah, you can also go on and try with different retrievers and let me know how it works. Okay. So here we have BM25 retriever, and this also will have this function called from documents. And here, like I said, uh, this is not embedding based approach. So you wouldn't need embeddings here. Just the documents alone is suffice enough. And once you provide this documents, this retriever is also ready. So you have BM25 retriever and VW retriever. The next step is to combine these two. We all do ensemble machine learning, right? We used to have a lot of models. We'll do stacking, we do blending and we do voting classifier and all, right? So similarly, this also uh, is on the same way, but well, here what happens is uh, we'll be assigning some weight, weight importance for each retrieval result, and based on that, it will try to provide the final result. That is how ensemble retriever works. So here, the retrievers will retrievers parameter will take a list of retriever as its argument, and here we have provided the VV retriever and BM25 retriever, and we have assigned the weights to be 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5, stating that both are equally important uh, nothing supersedes the other okay consider you have a scenario where exact matches are very important more than um, semantic matches let's say you're working on some information extraction on that case you need to have weights higher slightly higher don't go for very high values maybe 0 0.65 or something like that for bm25 retriever and vweight retriever being lesser and if you're having a lot of uh, semantic related queries 
which wouldn't have a direct match if you feel like that obviously you are building the use case so you would you would know that is how we need to work we need to think of the final result how it might shape up and based on that you can provide the weights but right now uh, 0.5 0.5 is more than enough for this use case so i just kept it as 0.5 and 0.5 but based on your use case uh, you should try to play with this weights okay so that is about the ensemble retrievers next uh, i'll go through the pot okay so here we are having the prompt template we are using c transformers we are using the retrieval qa chain and obviously we are importing the configurations and also we are loading the dot env which <coughs> which is not needed here actually we are just uh, i've just kept it but yeah you can also remove here but the more important thing is call that in retriever creation from ensemble retriever here so let me show that file again so here if you see retriever creation is the function which will retrieve the ensemble retriever usually what we'll do is we'll have the vector store alone and then we'll call it at the later part that's how we work right but here it is slightly different we'll be creating the retriever in the ensemble retriever file itself and then we'll call that alone instead of creating the retriever at the bot side we'll be creating it separately and then we'll call it okay so yeah that is there and then uh, we have the class and these are all parameters i think you all might know by now right uh, i think you all should be very clear of these parameters by now let me just give you a walk through of what is there so in prompt template if you see i've just said that you are my financial advisor you are great at providing tips on investment savings and and some some other things as well okay so that is prompt template input variables is context and question as usual chain type is stuff search keyword arguments uh, it's not needed here but yeah you can also uh, it's just uh, we have used this in the vw retriever uh, sorry ensemble retriever itself so yeah it wouldn't be needed here but yeah, i just kept it and as far as embedders concerned like i said we'll need bg base en okay and the more important change here is model checkpoint okay so here we'll be using mistral 7b open arca q8.0 guf so this is the file which we'll use so let me show you the file right now okay so here is the url obviously like usually i'll provide the link in the description try to download the file which you think is fine for you for me in 16 gigs ram even q80 is running so if you are having 16 gigs ram uh, you can go ahead with the 0.7.7 gigabyte uh, model itself but yeah if you think uh, i don't have that much uh, relatively lower should be fine so i guess you all know right now how to choose this right i have explained it in some videos prior itself so this is the maximum ram which will be required so here if you see in q80 it requires around 10.2 gigs if you can afford that go for it but if you don't just go through this uh, use case where it would have they would have said like how much is the loss how how much quality loss will be there how much uh, performance will be there um if you are having some medium configuration like 8 gigs uh, system i would suggest to go for q4km okay so now that is sorted let's go on to the vs code again okay so now we know about the model okay next is uh, the model type you can just keep it as llama itself because uh, still um, in the pre in the llama mistral explanation itself i have said that it is kind of a successor of llama it's llama right so yeah you can keep the model type as llama itself uh, and then max new tokens i have set it to 512 so it is based on your choice if you want larger tokens uh, just set it to some bigger number okay and then we have temperature which is uh, to control the randomness for which i have set here as 0.3 so that there will be very less randomness but yeah there is some randomness still okay so that is the initialization part next we are creating a custom prompt template for which uh, we are using the prompt template class which will take two parameters one is template for which uh, will be having this value being provided the prompt prompt string which is our prompt template and then input variables will be context and question these will be the values which will provide to the prompt template which will create the prompt template for the model okay so that is create custom prompt and then we'll load the llm 
with the model model type max new tokens and temperature parameter which we set in the initialization time itself and here there is something different so what we'll do is we'll load the retriever we'll call this up obviously we'll call it here and then inside that we are just what we are doing is we are calling this retriever creation which will result with the ensemble retriever okay so that is the load retriever function which is slightly different than your as you than usual times and then the another difference will come in create bot so usually we'll have vector db here instead of that we are using retriever what we usually do is vector db dot as retriever um search keyword arguments and then we'll provide this case to case to two but these are all done prior itself so what you can do is just call the retriever and then provide it here so other than that everything remains same we are using the retrieval qa chain which will take the given query it will try to compute the embeddings it will try to find the top relevant results from the document or vector store we have right now and top two documents are retrieved in case of uh, um, uh, our embedding based retriever which is our vector store um, being vv8 and then uh, bm25 also retrieves the top results and based on these uh, the top two results are again provided okay that is how this ensemble retriever will work and yeah uh, that is about the retrieval qa and then based on these uh, we have our all the helper functions ready so we are integrating these two to uh, together for us to create the bot so here we have the custom prompt being called retriever being called and then the llm being called by which this create bot function will create the fin advisor okay so that is about the bot side now coming on to the ui is there anything different here um actually there is not a lot being deferred so you will be calling this fin bot creator class and then based on that uh, you will have this create fin bot function which will try to create an instance of the bot which is the retrieval qa chain and once you have that you are set to go okay so other than that i'll just give you a walk through a fast walk through you you have uh, info fin bot what it will do is it will try to provide the prompt and then once the result is given the key will be, it will be a dict and inside that the answer which we require is in the result keyword so yeah we will call the result key and then the value inside that which is our expected answer will be provided from the info fin bot and display conversation i'll come to that as usually at the last okay so as usually we are also maintaining our session state click is equal to true to maintain the session state uh, when the button is clicked to avoid any loss of data okay and uh, now we are providing title subheader once the user provides the query we are also setting up the session state of assistant and user okay so we have it very usually right user and assistant uh, session states are there so if the session state is clicked and then inside that we are nesting if uh, st dot button of answer is there but yeah you can also have it as if st dot button of answer and if uh, and st dot session state dot clicked that is also there but yeah this is in another way so we are just taking both and uh, once it is there we'll provide the query which is the user query and uh, once that is provided it will go to this info fin bot so once you have the info fin bot being provided the output which is the answer here will you, will be appending the user input to the user session state and answer to the assistant session state and we are now checking if the session state of assistant is not none because if it is none uh, there is no point to display the messages right so if it is not none obviously uh, this will be true and it will go to the display conversation for in which what we'll do is it will go through the conversations which has happened and uh, yeah finally once the conversation is completed <coughs> all will be displayed right so user conversation will be displayed by using is user equal to true being set and then assistant is normally just provided as history of assistant of i okay so yeah the main difference here is the ensemble retriever which has made see uh, actually what i wanted to show is the main line different being here is uh, this one line okay so these are all not new these are all something which we have already done the two lines which we created here made such an impact that it became from here sorry, to here see here from uh, 
from generating some random stuff here yeah it is trying to say that don't buy impulse purchase and all but it is not able to say it correctly from being generated like this it is trying to generate like this which is pretty good right just one retrieval uh, augmentation makes it so different and yeah that is uh, advanced rag for you all okay so there are a lot of advanced concepts in rag and uh, it is available in langchain itself so i'm planning lot of videos in langchain uh, because uh, uh, there are lots to explore in langchain um, there is an another video coming up next which is something will help every one of us in some point of our project so yeah stay tuned for that and yeah i hope you all like this video guys uh, this video it, it was all about a custom retrieval and having mistral 7b as our model because we usually had llama and it's time to move on. we'll move on to mistral hereafter so yeah we have the mistral model being loaded in our rack pipeline with custom retrieval so that is for this video uh, and i hope you all like this video if you like the video just hit the like button and comment your opinions in the comment section and share it max with your friends so that they will also know even small changes can have a larger impact i'll see you all in the next video guys until then cheers